Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Hobby Breakfast Show. We are back again. It's your regular host, Arnold, and we are going to be running through a tournament preview. I'm joined today by Mayor. Hello. OT. Hello. Chef. Hello. And Sebastian. Hello. Everyone's here. Q Super Smash Bros. music. <laughs> I, OT probably won't edit that, but it would have been funny. Um, right. We're going to be running through um, everything as per usual. Uh, we'll be going through our list. We'll be making predictions, all the, the regular stuff. Um, let's start with a quick rundown of the event. Mayor, do you want to take us through what is happening and what the uh, pack is? Alrighty then. So uh, we're going to be playing in Worcester. Leon is running a uh, Leon and Laura, I should say, are playing uh, running a, a tournament again, and this time it is called Great Deeds of Lesser Heroes. It's a GBHL AT event. It's on the 19th of May, and if you want to follow along, I'm sure it'll be on. Yes, it's already on Longshanks. Um, there's lots of prizes. Uh, it's a one-day event on a Sunday, which is nice, so we're all going to head down. Um, it's going to be... Uh, so, so the gimmick is no hero may be more than 100 points. The tournament is 350 points. It's four, four games, one day. Uh, there's no legendary legions. You can't have more than 30 models, and you have to have at least... Three models. Every game's an hour and a half. I believe the um, scenarios are just going to be random. So I imagine each pool will be rolled for, and then there'll be a scenario pulled out of each pool. It's normal Swiss rankings and all that. And there's lots of prizes. And uh, we've had a, a brief look at some of the lists, which I'm sure we'll go through later, um, including kind of. Uh, some more competitive lists from some people and some more fluffy lists from others. So it's going to be quite a varied day, but there are four games. So I think everything will kind of peter out by the end of the day and people will hopefully be playing uh, people with similar uh, levels of competitive lists. Yeah. And there is also theoretically a, um, you're incentivized to bring unnamed heroes because there's going to be a special award for a painted unnamed hero and, um, there's going to be some sort of events that you have to try and do. I don't know whether people have followed that that closely in their list building, though. Some people have, some people haven't. <laughs> oh, there's what? <laughs> it's a, it's a bingo we... uh, sheet. So oh, it's a bingo the sheet. Yeah. Right. We've Your outed heroes. there for not reading the tournament pack there. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I, I was expecting to, because I, I know Leon's done one of those before, and I took part in it, and it, it included things like. Things that I physically couldn't do as Goblin Town, like cast magic powers. Obviously, I, I took Goblin Town on that, that occasion. Um, so that'll be interesting. I think some of the more well-rounded lists that include things that can shoot and do combat and do magic will do quite well with the bingo. Was Make Chef cry on that bingo list because you're ticking that box every <laughs> time? Hey, last time I took the list that I'm taking this time, you beat me and won the tournament, so... You certainly won't, won't cry on that occasion. Very true. Well, it's match fixing. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I think uh, the agenda for this video is going to be uh, going through our lists. Uh, I guess we can do a prediction like we did last time. There'll be a magnificent table that uh, OT is going to be building through this uh, uh, little podcast so that we can keep track of what we all th thought we were going to do and what each other was going to do and then we can have a look afterwards and see if we were right and see see how we did i guess i mean how many people are coming to this one um 32 32 and there are five of us so i mean what what are those odds odds are one of us is going to podium right just pure... I mean, not, you not, can not really you can, remove me, <laughs> you can remove me from those chances Same. okay so <laughs> odds aren't that good then um well, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go through each list then. So, um, in order, I seem to be first. So, uh, this is a list I've taken before. It was to a similar style tournament. It was a GBHL80 as well. Um, uh, Chef has played against this one, and it was actually in that tournament where he beat me and then and then won. So, uh, this is uh, Theoden. 
on Armored Horse. It's it's not the Legendary Legion, it's just Rohan. Um, so Theoden, Armored Horse, Heavy Armor, and a Shield comes to 100 points exactly. He's accompanied by a Ride of Rohan with a Banner and a Raw Guard on Horse with Throwing Spears. Then we've got Deerwine and Elfhelm, both on Horse, both with a Raw Guard on Horse with Throwing Spears. So it's a very small list. I did find, strangely enough, that in a lot of games that I've played with this before, the Royal Guard and the Bannerman don't tend to get targeted that often, or at least I'm able to protect them sufficiently enough with the three heroes. So the plan is to get in quickly against armies with um, any ranged, and use my three might to hopefully out heroic move my opponents until um, I'm able to just move because I've got more might and get my charges off um, and hopefully win at least half of the move-offs that happen in the early game. I might need to use a march with Deerwine uh, and I'm going to sprint from terrain piece to terrain piece to, towards my opponents. I'm going to use the bodyguard from the raw guard to try and help on objective missions uh, so they can all go out to objectives and hopefully pass their courage tests once I'm broken if that happens. Um, but otherwise, use my heroes to trap opponents or knock them down. And um, I mean, if I'm playing someone that doesn't have any melee, um, oh, sorry, that obviously everyone has melee, that doesn't have any <laughs> shooting, um, to kite them as much as possible until an opportunity presents itself. How much of a deal do you think it will be not having the Legendary Legion? Do you think it will be more or less? the same or do you think that that will actually be quite a big change to this list so it certainly doesn't help um i'm essentially going to be losing a free well potentially three free heroic combats which is a big deal but weirdly i didn't find it to be that big a deal uh, when i played i think the most important thing is the move offs and the the free combats are nice they help, they help things snowball, but I think as long as things are snowballing and I can use the might in the first few turns of combat to try and uh, use that to my advantage and, and get the snowball rolling, they tended to just help snowball more as opposed to start the snowball, if that makes sense. So I'm hoping it'll be snowballing anyway um, and that that won't matter, but I mean, it is a really nice rule. It's better the more heroes you have. So obviously having three heroes, that would have been really nice. Um, but yeah, it, it'll certainly be missed, but it's not a game changer. I mean, everyone's going to be missing stuff from Legions. Um, I've still got my my faction bonuses of plus one strength on the charge and plus one fight for the raw guard charging and stuff like that. So hopefully that will be enough. Fair enough. You definitely broke the world record for saying the word snowball the most time in a sentence. Did I? <laughs> right. um, Quickly then, what do we think Mare will get? I'll get last. There are four games, and again, the scenarios are going to be random. The odds are mostly objective play. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll make a start. I think you will get two wins, one draw, and one loss. I was going to say exactly the same thing. Oh, I was thinking the same thing. Or <laughs> I, I don't know. Look, looking at because I know that um, somebody's bringing like a crossbow spam list, mm. and it's sort of like I feel like there are lists you could run into. So, some of them might be in this episode, which <laughs> the shooting might be too powerful. So I don't know. I, I'll, I'll go the same. T T one one. Wow. What, did, OT, did you three say and one? Three and one. Ooh. There's always one. <laughs> I, I am hoping for three and one, and I think I could get it. But I think I think something shit will happen, and it'll actually be two, two and two. That's going to be my prediction. Oh, he's low balling. <laughs> he's low balling. I can only impress myself from here. So, but also that's that's mid table, and, <laughs> and you know, but, you know, I should be happy if I if I go even at least. So. So we're uh, a chef now. Yeah, I'm uh, taking the Hunter Orcs list. Um, so I, I've used Hunter Orcs in the past, but mostly as sort of like half my army. Um, so in pits, 
Um, I don't think I've actually ever allied them in with um, Azog's Legion when I've used that. Um, but yeah, I've got Fimble and Yasneg as the two heroes. I th- think I went for Fimble as my leader. Uh, the thinking behind that was that he's got the higher fight value, one, and Yasneg with the Lance has more killing power, so I just want to be able to like throw him in and... Uh, you know, if, if he dies, so be it. But if on that odd chance that he wins the combat, you know, with I strike against a pretty decent hero, um, even if it's a dwarf hero, for example, um, and I can match the fight value with the Lance on knockdowns, I should be in a good position to take out a fairly high defense hero without too much trouble. So that's the thinking behind having Fimble as the leader. And then I've got 12 Hunt Hawks with Bow. I've then got eight Hunter Orcs um, with no upgrades or anything. And I think I've got a smattering of Hunter Orcs on Felwags and I think the Solitary Felwag by itself. I think that's like uh, 26 models in total. Um, I, I, I'm not entirely confident with it. I'm looking forward to using it because I do think it's a fun list in the sense that it's going to be very quick games because either combats are going to go amazingly for me and that strength forward to attacks is just going to rip through armies or i lose combats and i die because of being defense four um so yeah um initial thoughts on it that i would hope to get two wins if i can avoid two defeats i'd be more than happy with that but i think it's a fun list it's got a bit of shooting bit of mobility um the reason I took the Felwags or Hunter Hawks on Felwags was because um, I was thinking that it's very possible that um, my uh, my heroes could get dismounted by some shooting. Um, and if anyone's got cavalry to charge them, they are very easy to kill. So I just wanted a smattering of uh, Hunter Hawks on Felwags just to act as a counter charge if needed. Um, and also just for that extra mobility and sort of peeling off on the sides for objectives. I think it's really yeah, strong the in this format. Um, yeah, I think you've 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 really been maxed on this list. I think it's really good because you have two very cheap, cost-effective heroes that have a lot of punch. You've got a lot of might. Every single model in your army almost has two attacks. Uh, basic. And having strength four across the board is very strong, and I think you'll have more shooting than most lists. Um, both war bands are pretty much maxed out. Um, yeah, you've almost got thirty models as well. You've got max models, max bows. Like you've got laser attacks. You've got mobility, and your opponent won't have any big heroes because of the points cap. Yeah. Yeah. And you're a really good player, so <laughs> I, I can see this going very well for you. Yeah, I mean, I was having, I remember listening to, I can't remember what what channel was doing, um, like one of those tier lists, and um, they had Fimble on there and talking about how he's like one of the most cost effective heroes in the game. Because he's 60 points on a Felwag, and I'm just looking at his profile here. He's fight five with strike, strength four, free might. He's got a lot going for him. Um, I mean, not that it will really matter, but he also has this um, what uh, hunt master special rule, so he doesn't suffer um, the penalty for difficult terrain. So, I mean, it's very unlikely that I'm going to be charging in the woods, but if someone has elves, um, then that's quite nice to have. But yeah, he's he's, he's a really good hero, um, and Yasnig as well. Um, well, I've, he's sixty points with the uh, Felwag and Lance, and yeah, he's a bit squishy, but strength four with plus one um, free attacks if you if you're charging. I mean, you're going to rip through stuff uh, with him um, if you're facing a fight three army. That is fight four is going to be a problem. Um, but in that case, I think you just chuck him into the hero. Was the channel the Hobby Breakfast Show? And on this point, I'd just like to remind everyone to like and subscribe. <laughs> it, it, it may very well have been um this was before i think i even did my first uh chat with you guys so i may have been admiring in the background listening to your sound advice look at this we should get guests on more often <laughs> you have a blatant bias to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you, to you be nice about it. Whole, uh, whole army choice here with that one comment on uh, Bimble. Push the breakfast show agenda. <laughs> but yeah, though, I think yeah. the shooting, because you say it's a 4 by 4 board, right? So, I mean, uh, there I think it's 18-inch range with the orc bows, but because I've got 12 shots and they're hitting on 4+, plus, I think the the shooting might do a little bit, like might get a kill or two every turn if I'm lucky, which, you know, considering there's maximum 30 models on the board and I might get two two rounds of shooting, that could be a massive uh, bonus there. Yeah, I mean, I just think it's got a lot going for it, honestly. <laughs> um, when, when I was I mean, looking at all the... Um all of the possible lists as i literally went through all of the factions and i was thinking what what faction would do really well and this was definitely on my top two um and mm -hmm. I, I think like this army on or like a pure on list or something like that I, I think they definitely um they definitely min max the all of the things that you want it to at 350 points with this maximum number of models should we do some quick predictions then yeah, uh, I'll, I'll go first. I, I think it'll. I think you're going to go four and zero. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the same. I was also thinking four and zero. <laughs> <laughs> I think Azog Hunters is just like the perfect list for this points level, and a four foot board helps that as well. Yeah. Yeah, bookmark this when I come back, and it's a zero and four opposite roll. <laughs> <laughs> Pressures on the early doors. If I lose the first game, I might just leave. Like, it's forget fixing. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AT, what's your prediction? I'm going to say three wins and a draw. I think there'll just be one army, maybe that I, I don't even know which army to be honest, but I think there might just be a bad scenario and matchup that, that goes against you. But yeah, like it's super strong at this points level, and I think yeah, it'll cope really well with the armies that we've seen so far. Thank you for your unfounded confidence. How do you think you'll do? Um, I was going to go two one one, um, just wow. because I agree with uh, the comment about scenarios. Um, I think there's enough power in there where I should get through things pretty quickly. But that courage, those courage tests are going to be a problem at some point. I think, and it could just be one bad scenario that really screws me over for objectives. Yeah. Yeah. Scenarios it could be. would be a big one, won't they? With four games and the whole scenario pool available, but there you so go. Thing, the same can be said for any list, though, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Right, OT, would you like to take us through your chosen by the subscribers list? <laughs> 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 Nothing would bring me greater joy. Um, so, I didn't really want to take this list, um, but my hand was forced. Um <laughs> <laughs> by the good people um i tried also as Odd is aware from the hundreds of messages i pinged him i tried a last minute sullivan witch king attempt but um some uh, some supply issues with people giving um people on ebay sending me bottles meant i couldn't run that so let down by 3d printing <laughs> Although not let down by the person I ordered Sullivan from, who was able to ship it before I was able to cancel. So that meant I've now got a Sullivan and no army to run him with, which is proud fun. owner of a fine crap <laughs> Sullivan. Um anyway, um yeah, it's Fellowship and Lothlorien. Um I think you could generously say it's themed around when the Fellowship first arrived at Lothlorien. Um I've got uh, Leggy with nothing, Gimli with nothing, because they're both exactly 100 points, and I've got Heldir with an elf bow. Um, him without the armor is problematic, but I think it basically would cost me an entire dude, and when my model count is 10, I felt like I couldn't really take the armor. Um, but yeah, I've got uh, three wood elves with elf bow and spear, and then three with throwing daggers and elf wood elf spear, and then one with a wood elf spear. comes to exactly 350. And models, five bows, loads of might, all good stuff. Yeah, probably going to have the or one of the strongest hero combinations. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't have... I mean, you've got 200-point heroes from an hour <laughs> list. So, yeah. 
yeah. I'm surprised how many warriors you've actually got in here, considering your heroes. Yeah. It's it's not and, bad. And I mean, elves. yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got um, what is it? Eight elf shots per turn, um, with some throwing daggers and stuff in there as well. I think the way I'm expecting this to play out is, um, I'll probably hide in a wood for as long as I can, and then just try and spear support my heroes. Um, hope to whittle people down. Um, but yeah, like even the throwing daggers, like. The fact that you can move full and still hit on a four is really powerful. Like, I don't know. It, it'll be really interesting to see how it goes. It is very flimsy. And I think if people are able to get on, like against Hunter Orcs, I think I could potentially really struggle because I, I just think there would be too many models for me to deal with, for instance. But against like Cav Armies, I've got a fair bit of shooting and like just having two three might heroes with multiple elf shots a turn is super nice. So. Yeah, it, it, I don't think it'll be good, but I think it might not be bad. So, yeah, we'll see. I mean, if you're willing to lean into the Warriors having the Elven Cloaks, you might actually have yeah. a, quite a strong shooting game with five yeah. shots and the two heroes. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I think this list would be better if it didn't have Gimli in and it just had more bows and more Wood Elves and maybe a banner. The lack of banner does cause me concern as well because, I mean... You just got to roll hot, right? Like that's the solution. Like it's a bit like yeah. you are the master at doing that. To be fair, uh, well, yeah. Um, as uh, well, this narrative that you continue to push, but I think it was when because it's, it's true. It's not narrative. It's, it's not it's true. <laughs> um, anyway, like, but when Sebastian was running the Reigns of Mirkwood Legendary Legion, like it's the same thing, right? Like if if your dice are rolling fairly well, you're probably going to do okay, but your guys are only D3 and they will go down if you lose a combat. So, yeah. Yeah. In terms of, like, predictions, um, I mean, I've never played a list like this before, um, which limits my confidence. I do think it will do well in some, like, I was going to say objective scenarios, but my model count's quite low. I'm going to say two and two. I think I'll be somewhere in the middle as per normal. I was thinking two and two as well, actually. Cool. Um, I think if I were to have to play this, it would be very difficult. Um, yeah. I mean, we played a similar sort of game, didn't we? Um, but you, instead of everything bit legless and Gimli, you had um, other fellowship randomers that weren't that useful. Whereas Frodo, yeah, you've actually Frodo got no Sam. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. It's true. Um yeah. I, I think yeah, I, I'm expecting I'm expecting average results essentially. Um and I'd I'd like crossbow I mean I was gonna say crossbow spam, but like actually with the elven cloaks and a bit of flexibility it might be okay, but yeah. I reckon two wins a draw and a loss. Oh, Fantastic. You'll jam your way to that draw. <laughs> <laughs> no, sk no skill, just good dice rolling. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I feel like two and two is probably where I'd be at as well. I yeah, that's I a think... hel healthy dose of reality from Sebastian there. Thank <laughs> you this odd, odd bullshit. I just think I... having played with the list similar in a way, I think you'll find that you will probably break pretty much every game. Because yeah. I think just <laughs> losing five Wood Elves is, is not too much of a challenge yeah. but yeah. i think as well like haldir is is great but with all of the games i've played with haldir he doesn't carry very often um oh. only having the two attacks and and that kind of stuff once if he has to get into combat and get stuck yeah in. um mm -hmm. but i yeah I, I do think that it is still very strong i think the leggy uh gimli combo yeah, um, yeah is going to be very strong because i think they are some of the best points in this kind of format yeah. Um, so I, th I think they'll be very difficult to take out. Mm. And like Gimli running around with like, because he can pierce as well. So he could be like, you know, strength five, three attacks with plus one to wound, or like, you know, he could just two hand with plus two to wound and stuff like that. Like, yeah. he, he, he will, he will be like probably the most powerful combat hero at this points level? Question yeah. mark? I, I, that's what I thought. I kind of wanted to put him in my list, but of course I, I, I couldn't. Yeah, because uh, you, 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 you need Balin to be ten points cheaper, and then you could yes. go Balin, Gimli, and dudes. Uh, that would be really good. That that was the plan. <laughs> uh, 
Um, mm. And then, Chef, what do you reckon? Oh, I've seen you have some dodgy rolls. Um, <laughs> as in, you as watch in, out for those Rivendell guys. As, as in dodgy in a good way or dodgy in a bad way? <laughs> oh, bad way. <laughs> okay, Very bad okay. way. See, this is, um, the this is the narrative I want. Uh, I'm going to go two and two as well. Yeah, um, no, I think to... that's very sensible. Yeah, I, I think I think there are very strong points for that army. So I don't think it's um, like at first glance you might think uh, ten models, but actually when you start to discuss all the positives, as you said, you're putting your guys in the woodland terrain. If you have a couple of good rounds of shooting. Um, yeah, yeah uh, you're going to be in a position as well where you can probably get. You, you're almost certainly going to break most games, so you're yep. going to lose VPs there. But with Legolas, you should be able to kill the enemy leader in most games, really. Um, mm. So you're going to gain VPs there. Yeah, I, I think I think two and two. I think you could easily go three and one either way, though. To, you know, if you have a good or bad game, I think it's that yeah. swingy. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think any list that relies a lot on shooting at this points level is just like the variance is so high because like the lower the points level, you know, if you get a couple of lucky shooting rolls, it can really change the game. And like, as you say, with with Leggy and Haldir and stuff, like putting wounds on the enemy leader, it only takes a couple of good rolls and they could go down and then the game's like completely different. So, but also in the exact opposite way, like... I, I think was it Onod I played against you where you missed how many of Leggy's um, two ups did you miss in a row? Was it three you missed or two? I can't remember. It, it was it was three. And if anyone wants to watch that fucking <laughs> horrific game, it is on the channel. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like yeah, cause that was on the Witch King's horse, wasn't it? And you missed three two ups in a row, and then yeah. you, uh, I can't remember how many might it was. But yeah. let's move on, Sebastian. <laughs> do you want to talk through your list? Uh, can, yes. can I just say before you start, it's so beautiful. I'm very jealous. Yeah, the paintings are lovely. Oh, thank you. Um, I was going to say, it, for this 350 um, tournament, I decided, you know what, I'll, I'll take something I've never played before, and that ended up snowballing, as um, you know, your favourite word, um, <laughs> to paint pretty much like almost almost two like two thousand points worth of dwarves. Um, over 70 models uh, just so that I can do this list um, but uh, yeah so I decided to go for a bit of an anti-meta choice uh, which is the Kingdom of Khazad Doom um, it's got the Dwarf King because he's fight six he's got March um, very solid kind of hero for under 100 points um, he is leading six Dwarf Warriors to the shield one Dwarf Warrior over the shield and a banner a dwarf warrior with a dwarf bow, just as a one-off honesty bow, um, and two vault warden teams. Um, we then have the shield bearer, and four more dwarf warriors with the shield, and two iron guard. Uh, so it's twenty models altogether. Uh, only three might, which is a little bit scary, but um, I'm kind of thinking that with the shield bearers free her at combat, it's definitely going to help in terms of trying to chop through standard warriors um, and try and make up the difference uh, that way. Um, the Vault Warden teams, I think, would be really helpful to go against those heroes who are strength four, like because I think that there are going to be so many of those middle heroes, like the Faramirs and and the Haldirs mm. and all that kind of stuff. Those two, two attack strength form like heroes who are almost 100 points. The, the idea is to kind of just make them bounce off of these Vault Warden teams um, as a kind of like a, a defense against them while the rest of the army chops through the rest of your army. It's kind of the idea. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's a very kind of straightforward list and I think it's going to do well against those shooting armies. So I think there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of those bows at lower points because I think the the way it works in terms of the lower your points, it feels like the more value you get from your bows because it's a lot more skirmished based. And I just think that if I can take an army, which is basically defense seven on average everywhere, it's going to really nullify shooting and kind of make it redundant. And then I'm hoping to just outfight them once we get to that inevitable combat. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, I've I've I've, I've played a couple of test games with it. It's been very 50-50 so far. Um, mm. But to be fair, I think the games that I've lost were against an army of the dead, which completely counters what my list is supposed to do. Um, and those were still quite close games. So I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling okay about the list. I just I am a little bit worried about going against something that just has lots of two attack strength four models. Um, and cavalry. Cavalry is also something yeah. I'm a bit worried about. Yeah. Um, getting sort of knocked over and especially if they've got lances like something like Suladan and, and a bunch of um raiders on with, with mm -hmm. those war spears getting plus one to wounds and not being able to outmaneuver cavalry is, is a bit of a worry um but yeah that's that's my list just out of interest why the shield bearer over another hero like why uh, not two so, kings so uh partially because of uh how much cheaper the shield bearer is compared to the king i thought about doing the double king um, but I think the 15 points was one Iron Guard, and I was like, I'd rather have the extra Iron Guard um, to just round it up to 20 models. But also, um, the Shield Bearer is kind of like a... It's a target for opponent's heroes, and he's still defense 8. So you kind of look at his profile and go, oh, he's got two wounds and no fate. I'm going to try and focus on him. And you're like, okay, that's great. He's a 60-point model. You're chasing him down with a 90-point Legolas or something. That I'm not really phased. Um, and if they're not doing that, then he's only fighting one-on-one -on -one with warriors, and he's like a consistent two to three kills of warriors almost every turn with that free hero combat. Um, so, and, and also, it's, it's it felt better with the max um, warband size. So having that six in his warband, and also having the the reroll uh, on courage is really fantastic. Because I've got no bodyguard in this list, um, and so if I was to go against something that was a terror cause and model having that re-roll is actually huge because it means that the Vault Warden teams can definitely get into that cave troll that someone's decided to take or, you know, because there's no cap on, on monsters unless they're heroes. Um, so I know for sure that there is a 30 model Moria list who has a cave troll in it. Um, so getting the Vault Warden teams in there with that re-roll courage is, is really fantastic. Fair enough. Cool. Yeah, I like it. I really like the list. I think it's cool. It's fluffy. It's well-rounded. You'll have fun with it. I think it's got very few play styles. <laughs> There's not a lot of um, tricks. So, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's, um, it, the main thing, to be fair, was that I was like, you know what, it's a, it's a low fun tournament and it's about the lesser heroes and it means I can take two unnamed heroes and... Uh, see how well the shield bearer can do against these named heroes for example um and just kind of like really play off that uh narrative that that these dwarves are kind of against the odds um on a completely yeah. not competitive note is that dwarf archer in the background with the like hair is that a conversion uh no it's there's quite a there's quite a few um there's quite a few old uh, metal warriors in there. Oh, it's a metal one. Okay, I was going to say I don't remember the plastic kit having that, but yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I I, uh, I managed to get a job lot of dwarves. So there's there's a uh, another metal dwarf on the back left, the ginger one. Um, they've got those slightly different shields, and uh, they're they're a, I really like the the old metal sculpts. To be fair, they look really, really yeah, good. the metal ones look sick. Anyway, I don't know if that will make it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to potentially have to edit that IOT. Um, <laughs> should we uh, do some predictions? Yes, let's do predictions. I'm going to go three and one. I think there'll just be one scenario that doesn't favor the dwarfs. But I think otherwise, it'll wow. do what you want it to do. That's my prediction. I'm going to say two and two and two. I think there'll be two scenarios that don't favor the dwarves, and I think, I think in the bad scenarios, like, oh, you do have March to be fair, but like, when you're as low might as you are, I think it feels bad spending the king's might. So, it, yeah, either two and two or two wins and a draw. I'm saying. I think it'll be two one one somewhere in between. I think they're really solid and they're going to be hard to shift. And the uh, the rounds aren't that long. So. <laughs> True, you can play play to time. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm not saying you should do that, but you know, dwarves are hard to get rid of in the first place. So if you can anchor yourself, they'll outgrind most armies. I don't think there'll be that many strength. Uh, well, you mean, even a strength four army would struggle to clear this out. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think it'll probably go something like two and two because I usually average pretty hard at a tournament. Um, <laughs> You're impressed, <and, laughs> Yeah, I think I think there are many scenarios in which the the list will struggle with in terms of maneuverability, mm. and even with. Like, I, I think, yeah, again, it depends on the matches, but I think usually I end up I end up throwing one or at least one game away. Um, and that's because you're such a nice guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, I do it for sportsmanship vote. Um, <laughs> get those free tickets next event. Um, he hasn't paid for a tournament in years. Big, big brain, <laughs> big brain. Yeah, it's it's forty chess. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think I think the other thing as well is I'm just not very experienced with the list, and mm. I don't quite know what will go well and what will not. So, for example, I played a. a a fun game match yesterday against one of my friends, uh, Contest of Champions. Uh, I had the, the obviously a Dwarf King against uh, Hurin on horse. Um, I charged into him, thinking a king will take him. Uh, he struck up, got higher, uh, rolled two sixes, or rolled a one on my fate. So um, I just died, and that was like a five minute game of Contest of Champions. So uh, we packed <laughs> up. Um, <laughs> so uh, you didn't play another game, you were just like, nope, that'll do. Yeah, that, that'll, that's enough. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I agree with Mayor. I'm going to go two one one for Sebastian. Um, I'm actually hoping you do well, um, not because I'd ever wish you to do badly, but um, I really <laughs> like the, <laughs> I really like the the list. Um, I, I I really like the Gilbera. I think the the sculpt is really cool. Um, I agree that the heroic combats are really nice. So it's a list I've wanted to put together myself for a while. So I'm. Uh, I'm hoping that you can do well with it. Be interesting to see how it plays out. But yeah, nice. I, I agree with what everyone else has said that low might is probably going to be your biggest problem there, as it always is with dwarfs. Yeah. Um, just before you hop off, uh, do you mm. want to give your prediction for Onod's list, and then we'll cut it in later? The correct yeah, prediction what, um... is their own four, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what has Onod got? What hasn't he got is the question. He's got Arathorn, seven Dunedain, and then Holfoot Brace Girdle, Sheriff with 12 Sheriffs. Don't know why you're saying it in such a dismissive tone. Moving on to Arnold's list then. What is your list? I'll take you through. I mean, Chef's left in disgust because he hates this <laughs> list so much. Had <laughs> to go and throw up. And that is the, the canonical reason for, for um, that. Um, so I'm taking the Rangers and the Shire as an allied force. I'm bringing Arathorn as my leader. Uh, I'm bringing Seven Dunedain with Spears. I'm bringing Holfoot, Bracegirdle, Sheriff Leader, and 12 Hobbit Sheriffs to take me to 340, 47 points. So there you go. Um, I, I would do a, a tactical analysis like everyone else has done. But... There's, there, there's no <laughs> there need. None. The, 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 game, the game plan is obvious. Basically, um, I'm just going to go to um, Worcester, which I would describe as um, one of my top 30 cities in the UK. Uh, yeah. I'm going to. into 30. <laughs> 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 I'm allowed to be horrible to Worcester because I was born there. I grew up uh, there. <laughs> Worcester's nice. It's definitely yes. a city. <laughs> you can't say you, you can't do this. <laughs> okay, no, I I do actually quite like Worcester. So. <laughs> oh, less hell. less sincere than Chef's prediction of you going two and two. <laughs> No, I like Worcester. It's just the problem is, is when you live there for the amount of time I did, um, you run out of stuff to do. <laughs> okay, well, this is all getting cut, so just talk about your actual list. Jesus Christ. There's only so many times you can go to the park. I mean. <laughs> 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 oh, for fuck's sake. Um, is this where I pretend that I know what I'm going to do with my list? Oh, okay. So you've got, 
so for anybody who doesn't know, Brace Girdle gives all himself and all Hobbit shrifts within three inches burly, right? And that's your shield wall, except they don't Correct. have shields. Except they and, don't and have and shields. Defense two. <laughs> Three. Uh, no offense, uh, three. What three? Are you oh, they like may that. as well be two. Jeez, <laughs> look at this bias. Come on, they're five points. Like, um, I mean, I think the interesting. I mean, the interesting part here is like the hobbits can move almost full, and the rangers can still like move half and shoot, which is you know. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> I, I will probably be doing quite a lot of three inch shuffles because um, it doesn't really on my, like unless it's a scenario where I need to get somewhere quickly, it doesn't really matter if the rangers, um, the hobbits, are moving one inch less. Mm -hmm. um, they are reasonably. Um, good with the the shooting um they probably will outshoot the majority of lists at the tournament but they're not going to be the the most shooty um <coughs> the, the how, might... how would how you feel about the fact that there are two other dunaday lists which don't mm. have the hobbits yes it's that will be interesting if i face them because i mm. it depends if they are taking dunadine without spears if they're taking yeah. Dunedain without spears, it's Arathorn and 11 Dunedain. So they've got four more than me. Yeah. Um, I actually would probably back my list to outshoot theirs because I've got the lovely fleshy meat wall Expendable of Hobbits <laughs> to absorb shots mm, yeah. whilst um, they do not. And it's um, the same rolls to wound against the Hobbit and the Rangers, isn't it? It'll be fives on both. So yeah. basically like an extra wound for each Ranger. I'm actually more concerned by a list like OT's because he'll be able to just strip through the Hobbits on a 3 plus by a 4 plus. Well, and Arath Arathorn as well, right? He's D5, 2 fate, 1 wound. Like, yeah. Two, a couple of decent rounds of shooting. He's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, uh, he's 2 wounds, 1 fate. He's the, the wrong way around. But yeah, um, there, there are definitely lists where I'm not going to be able to um, just sit back and shoot. Um, and obviously mm -hmm. closing down is problematic against those lists with hobbits. Mm -hmm. um, I do have march access, thanks to Holfer. So I've got one turn of a... Um, <laughs> Moving up, up, nine seven, inch up, to se up to seven inches with the hobbits. Well, yeah, but I can put the Dunedain in front and yeah, move them if I need to. Yeah, there, there will probably be one game where I, I stand a chance and the scenario goes in my favour and then I think the rest of the weekend will be an uphill struggle, but I'm expecting it. Um, can it can it do stuff? Yes. I think it will just be a case of, um, you know, can I outmite people and I'm probably going to have to use those might points to, you know, do stuff like kill guys, but... yeah. I've got a lot of it to burn through, so I think it will just be that kind of situation, um, really. But yeah, it, it's not a good list. <laughs> I, I think, like, it bizarrely, it has a fairly high model count, which feels strange to say. Like, it's got more than me. I, yeah, I was about to say it's I mean, it doubles mine. Um, like, I think if you are able to get momentum going in your favour and win a couple of fights with those burly hobbits you might actually be able to like surprise a few people because I think people will dismiss the hobbits but they're, are they strength 2 or strength 3? The they're hobbits? strength 2 but obviously within 3 inches they get the free burly, uh, burly. Yeah. so if you're, if you're needing 6s by 4s it's 5s by 3s which threes, isn't, yeah. isn't you know dreadful Terrible. Yeah. Um, I think the um, two attack Dunedine will yeah. probably be more useful overall, mm -hmm. um, but obviously having them be able to spear support is is useful just for positioning and all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. As we found out when I practice games against your um, not Fitness. terribly competitive fellowship list, I mean they they do put in work if you can get a surround. Yeah, we, we chop down Gimli in a single turn pretty easily. Mm. It's just obviously most lists will have supporting warriors. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, Hunter orcs tears through you, right? Like, yeah, that, oh, that, that, is I mean, one, that is one sided. As I mean, if I if I match up against Chef, I, I will lose. If I match yeah. up against OT, I think I'll lose. If I match up against Sebastian, I think I'll lose. I think with Mare, just because I can expend might points to kill the horses, 
Yeah. That's probably one which, depending on scenario, I stand a chance at. Mm. And also, I weirdly always seem to do quite well against Mare, despite the fact that uh, I'm so much more terrible at the game. <laughs> it's my you're, good you're, luck, so he just gets distracted. I, I think, I think you're good at the game. I think you hamper yourself sometimes with your lists a little bit. Um, yeah, honestly, but I don't I, really, I don't really enjoy playing <laughs> lists that are good. <laughs> also, your dice rolling could you know? Work. Oh, the dice rolling is fucking garbage. Yeah. yeah, Jesus Christ. But anyway, um, yeah, it it it'll be bad. Um, I think, yeah, it'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm curious because I am interested in um, allying Rangers with Shire, but I'm more interested in how Brad's banner. Than I am in yes. Arathorn, but I couldn't bring Halbrad in this this um, list. But this is a concept that I'm intrigued by because you can get quite a lot of um, bows in this in this yeah. alliance. So yeah, uh, and I probably really should have brought four Hobbit archers rather than four of the sheriffs because I'm not going to be able to get all twelve within three inches of um, what's his face anyway. No, but I wasn't. I have quite specific positioning. I wasn't really thinking when I uh, submitted the list about um, it being optimised, um, as viewers can probably see, so mm. fuck it, who cares? To be fair, if, if you're running this list, I think this is about as optimised as a Rangers and Shire Alliance can be at this points level, if that makes you feel any better. Nah, if if I so if I wanted to run this, um, I, I would say um, I'd probably put Farm Mag in for 8-inch move, and I would take... Um, the max amount of Hobbit archers, and I just run it as a shooting, pure shooting list, because I don't think in reality that the um, burly sheriffs will actually do as much work as, as four four Hobbit archers and mm -hmm. the three dogs and farm mag would have done. But it's more themed having the um, sheriffs with the rangers, and uh, obviously that's generally where my list building starts and ends. So, yeah. Hey. Okay. Predictions. Uh, zero and four. Okay. <laughs> Straight away. Um, I might get a draw. Okay. I, I'm fully expecting to just go zero and four, though. Okay. Interesting. Uh, uh, I think you're going to go one and three. Okay. Chef's predictions looking increasingly ridiculous. Um, Sebastian, <laughs> what are you saying? I, I'm also going to say one and three. I'm tempted to go really rogue. <laughs> Don't do Four it. Four wins. Be like, you will like regret it. Three and one. <laughs> you win the tournament. <laughs> um, it's always possible. Yeah, not in this case. Um, it's definitely not, because I'll do something stupid like allow my opponent to take back a move and they win, because I'll feel too bad <laughs> about saying that they can't. <laughs> Which is uh, how I've lost two games at tournaments so far in my <laughs> in my life. <laughs> nice guy on on. Um, I'm gonna say two one and one. Fuck it. I look like a prodigy if I'm right. I always <laughs> said two one and one. <laughs> you are you are gonna look so fucking dumb when I go zero and four. <laughs> I am craving that wooden spoon. Mm. Well, I you're hope... short on cutlery. Do we know if it's a real wooden spoon? Um, no, I think you... I think you get quite a nice prize normally. <laughs> I don't, I'm tanking, I don't think I'm it tanking is. then. <laughs> I'm tanking for that nice prize. You heard it here first. <laughs> oh dear. Um, oh God. Um, zero and four. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I feel like it deserves it. Um, <laughs> uh, oh God. Um, it's a decent number of guys there, but and shooting the, the Duna not end. They have one might. Yeah, they do. Yeah. That's quite nice. So seven of those with Arafon. So you've got ten might. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's strong. That's um that's eleven gonna... might with Holfoot as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. you you're gonna have more might than I would say pretty He's much. You're gonna have a lot of move offs, but is he yeah, gonna be able have... to take take advantage of them? You have more might than it, has more. It's okay, like, <laughs> it's okay, Chef, to say zero and four. <laughs> it's it's zero zero and five. Like I've been edged that way. Um uh I'm gonna go two and two. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I mean, that's a lie. I'm not writing that one down, but sure. All right, I, I, well, one and three then. How, it, it, is that agreeable to you all? I've been to three two tournaments and, and I've won two total so far. So <laughs> just, this is where it gets turned around. Well, wow, I'll, uh, I'll write two and two. Yeah, I'll bring the average up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we need to invite like harsher people on this, but just be the people. Yeah, we're nice. all too nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I think based on this, looking at the averages, I think we're predicting Chef to do best, then it's Mayor, then me and Sebastian are pretty even. Maybe Sebastian slightly above me, and then Onod is yeah. Yeah, might be, might be, might be quite challenging. Um, that sounds about right. That yeah, does sound about yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, should we quickly talk about uh, a couple of the lists that have been entered so far, um, and like the factions that are there, or should we just skip that? Very, very quick. A lot of yeah. um, people have not made their list public. The mm. the yeah. sweaty tryhards, mm -hmm. yeah. um, the chads <laughs> that are attending though, who have made their yeah. list public. There's an Isengard right. crossbow list, seven crossbows. Yep. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> no Vraskew, though. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I would have thought as a, you know, you, you'd sort of double down on the strategy, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd Take this, the Vraskew. Oh, with that list with Vraskew, though, geez, like, it's already pretty scary. I quite like the mix of orcs and urukai i think to just get to get numbers, your yeah. yeah the model count because 26 models with seven crossbows and like you know there's warg riders and stuff like that like i i like that list like that looks really good the, or the orcs is well what allows list. you to get the crossbows though right yeah, yeah. up there so yeah yeah, yeah. It makes sense. i i personally would have taken frasku over the orc captain on warg but yeah I suppose yeah. getting a mounted hero for like a knockdown bonus and that yeah. kind of stuff is pretty strong as well. Yeah. It doesn't well, work yeah, out yeah. as often as you yeah. think, though. Or like, you know, like marching to objectives and stuff, like, you know, moving, what is that? The, the, 15. 15. Like, that's that's not bad. Um, but yeah. Well, can, yeah, yeah. countercharging an enemy cavalry or enemy cavalry heroes, that kind of mm. stuff. Someone's taking a wog with. A I couple have of so much left. time for that. That looks so good. Goodest of boys. Yeah, twenty-four models. There's as a banner know, in there as well. As we know, undefeated against Mare. Yeah. Um, allegedly. Um, there's a Serpent Horde Corsairs list. Um, it doesn't have the list there, but I'm assuming it's going to be like Suladan and either Delgamar or Dalamir. Uh, I, uh, I might have secret insider information on that list. Hang on. OMG. Uh, you heard it here first. Mm. Although, actually, you won't hear it. No, this is going out before the tournament. Up so. A few days before the tournament, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spicy, if we decide to include all of yeah. yeah, Yeah, so it's Suladan, eight Abrakan Guard, seven Ooh. Warriors of Shield, uh, one with the bow. Nice. Uh, it has a bosun. Um, oh! With spear. That's the guy who's a banner, right? He's like 50 points. Ish, uh it's yeah high. it's a it's a kind of a low captain type thing cool. yeah uh, nice. four reavers uh and then four, four reavers with re weapon swap so nice. eight reavers and i'm assuming the ones with the weapon swap probably have an axe oh that Tw is 26 models don't that mind that don't mind that very glass cannony though like no bows though as well yeah one one bow <laughs> one one honesty bow you know what um Right scenario, a lot of the lists that we've been talking about probably have enough shooting to kill quite a lot of those Corsairs before yeah. combat. Yeah. yeah, the defense four is rough. Yeah. Or do, is, it, is it defense three on the Reavers as well? Is it? I'm oh, it might up. be three, actually. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I think regular Corsairs are defense three and then four yeah, yeah. shield. Oof. That would um, be interesting. Um, there's a Minister of Rohan Alliance. Always solid. Can't go wrong. What they're taking a king lot of, of fountain cult court guard jeepers Lots and of is the king of man on horse with a lance he's not actually yeah, no. just heavy armor and shield is that because of a points issue or i don't think like, so I'm sure. I, I, 100 I, points I, with that loadout 
King of King of Man's only like sixty something, I think. So, yeah. You could definitely be able to do it if you wanted to. Whether or not you can then put all of the armor on, but yeah, I don't it think might be a, like a real life model issue because mm. there's True. no model for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like converting one's a bit of a pain. Mm. But then got Elf Helm and a couple of Royal Guard with throwing spear and an Outrider on a horse, which I like. Like I think they're just the like, honesty bow. Yeah, good honesty bow. Seventeen models, not bad. Um, I mean, getting through twelve Fountain Court Guard with a banner is going to be quite a challenge. So that could be interesting. Um, there is a Moria list, um, which is just. Uh, absolutely at the break point with 30 models um it's a captain captain and a shaman um how many bows is that and a cave troll and a cave troll crikey yeah i don't know that's that's to be fair how none of these have really been at the model count limit have they a lot of them have been a decent amount under yeah Th this one might might be all right i get it's just a i think with the the cap isn't it it's sort of like the yeah. horde armies can't hoard quite as well i think, as I think yeah plateaus oh. after a certain point and like most mm -hmm. lists are getting to 20 to 25 models anyway mm. so yeah mm. there's a um haldir and orifin list with a bunch of um warriors and uh one guard of the galadrim court yeah looks all right I he's given like that list yeah, yeah I, I have to say, like, I only realised afterwards, but you could take the three brothers at this points level, and again, it would yeah. be not very not very good. <laughs> um, but, like, I mean, this one's also got a knight in there, which I think is super nice. A couple of Wood Elf Warriors with bows. Um, yeah. And he's got a banner, which I think, like, yeah. It's, uh, I, I, not, not having a banner is rough. I'd have taken a um, Sentinel, personally. Over the I, banner, or yeah. just over not, the... not over the banner. It's just I feel like because of the restrictions, I don't think that many people are expecting any kind of serious magic. So I just feel yeah. like actually having a little something probably gives you a bit more flexibility than maybe like it's one of the so one people. It is expensive. I, yeah. I appreciate, and I can see why you wouldn't. But I almost feel like that kind of little little difference might actually be quite useful this yeah. list i think is still less than 20 models um which yeah is is interesting um but saying that i, I to be fair saying less than 20 models with a banner and a with elf with elf bow is pretty decent yeah 15 models well that's only five more than mine i guess it'll just be um how quickly they break when it yeah, that yeah. list. Although I have to say, I think the breaking thing with elves isn't as bad, right? Because you do at least have the courage value. Like obviously, model counts a problem, right? Depends but, like, what the scenario is, though, right? Yeah. yeah. But then, it, like, if you've just got an elf on an objective, like, True. And, like with of an orc warrior, you can because I think also you know with woodland creature, right? Like you can just send an elf off late in the game, running through some woodland to go and tag an objective in a way you couldn't do with like an orc warrior, or whatever. So. Yeah, be interesting. Yeah, so um, I mean, there's a pure shy list. Big respect. Love that. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I, I know roughly what that's going to be because it's, it's um, uh, I've heard it's going to be an all heroes list. Oh, oh. Odd, 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 you talked about this and you never did it, you coward. I, I am a coward. Well, I, I wanted to do it with Gandalf, and obviously mm. no Gandalf <laughs> possible. He's a bit expensive. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, this this could be where my draw draw comes from, right? Yeah. Wow. I'm not, like... I'm not backing myself to beat it. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think. What would you if you were doing? If you no, let's not even try to optimize all hero shy. Like that's <laughs> an exercise in futility. Um, you bring Baldo. You bring yeah. Farmer Maggot. Yeah. You bring Mary Pippin and Frodo. You bring Sam, Sam and Rosie. Sam and Rosie. Yeah. And the that's, heroic, heroic that's, combat king. That's probably close to 300 of them. So then, do you bring Frodo. Whole Holford just for Burley? Or the mayor mm. for Banner? Oh, or maybe not, because yeah, you warriors and stuff like that. I don't think you bother with Mare if you bring Frodo, though. Oh yeah, I was meaning one or the other, but like maybe, maybe just 
Maybe just Cotton, because he's got a spear. Fucking hell, we're really just plumbing the dregs here, aren't we? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, um, yeah. I, I think that there will be um, at least another um, Azog's Hunters. I'd be shocked if there isn't, because it just does really well at low points. I think there'll be another mm. Corsairs or Serpent Horde type list. I think there'll be at least one of the Azogs Hunters, as you're saying. Apart from that, like, I don't know, there doesn't... I'm trying to think what other lists that were really powerful that aren't there. Oh. But, yeah, true, but then that's... Arnold's just, always like, just... Model, the model's not existing, right? Yeah, like, do people own it? <laughs> yeah. That's the nerf. Um... There we go then. So um, we'll be back with a, a how we did video at some point, either a week or a fortnight after this comes out, and we'll um, see just how badly I did. Um, so we'll uh, say goodbye there. So it is a big goodbye from me. It's goodbye from Chef. It's goodbye from Mayor. Bye, everyone. It's goodbye from Sebastian. No. <laughs> Wait for it. Sorry, did you say did you say me? Yeah. <laughs> you talking to me? I got I literally I got a call that repaired my headset to my phone as you were saying. Oh, <laughs> there so we go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it's okay. It just means we're editing for OT, which I'm a big Sorry. fan of. We're all about that. We're all about that life. I right, try again. It's goodbye from Sebastian. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from OT. It's only your own life you're ruining, you know? Bye! <laughs> Bye, everyone! Yeah, you need me to do the buyer thing so you can clip that in, or have you already got it from a previous video?